The point of no return, abbreviated as PNR, is the point after which there isn't enough fuel left to go back to the departure airport while keeping the necessary fuel reserves intact. The more flight fuel carried, the closer to the destination airport the PNR will be. If there is no wind, the aeroplane can fly out until half of its safe endurance is used before turning back. If there is no wind, the ground speed to the PNR is the same as the ground speed home. Let's consider this simplified example. The distance from A to B is 100 nautical miles. If the aeroplane with a true airspeed of 100 knots flies from A to B, then turns back and flies back to A, how long will it take if there is no wind? Time from A to B at 100 knots ground speed is 1 hour. Time from B to A at 100 knots ground speed is also 1 hour. Therefore, the total time out and back in no wind conditions is 2 hours. Now let's consider the same scenario, but with a 20 knot wind blowing in the direction from B to A. What do you think happens to the total flight time? Will the 20 knot headwind on the way out cancel out with the 20 knot tailwind home, leaving the total flight time again two hours? Time from A to B at 80 knots ground speed is one hour and 15 minutes. Time from B to A at 120 knots ground speed is 50 minutes. Therefore, the total time out and back is 2 hours and 5 minutes. You must be wondering, where did the extra 5 minutes come from? The answer lies in the time spent flying in the headwind versus the time spent flying in the tailwind. The aeroplane suffered the 20 knot headwind for 1 hour and 15 minutes, but only benefited from the 20 knot tailwind for 50 minutes. The wind effects don't cancel out because the headwind was acting on the aeroplane for a longer time than the tailwind. What if the wind was blowing from the other direction? Time from A to B at 120 knots ground speed is 50 minutes. Time from B to A at 80 knots ground speed is 1 hour and 15 minutes. Therefore, the total time out and back is 2 hours and 5 minutes. It doesn't matter if the wind is a headwind or tailwind, as any wind will add time to the returning home flight compared with the no wind situation. Therefore, the PNR will always be at the greatest distance out in no wind. Any wind, head or tail, will reduce the distance to the PNR.